Hi, I'm Dr. Wong Hong Seng from Oasis Eye Specialist. I'm the medical retina and uveitis consultant. Today, I would like to talk to you about diabetic eye disease. Do you know that globally, there are 415 million adults who are suffering from diabetes? By the year 2014, this number will rise to 642 million. In Malaysia alone, there are 3.6 million adult diabetic patients and that is equivalent to 1 in 5 adults. The leading complication of diabetes, one of it is diabetic eye disease or diabetic retinopathy. In, in Malaysia, the prevalence of diabetic retinopathy is around 36.8%, whereby 15.6% of this group of patients have sight-threatening or blinding eye condition. So how does diabetes affect the eye? Diabetes is a disease whereby it will damage small vessels inside the eye. For example, the small vessels in the retina itself. So blood vessels inside our body is just like a pipe water. What happens is that diabetes will cause damage to the wall of these blood vessels. And because of that, the content inside the blood vessels will start to leak out. So what will leak out? It will leak out blood, it can also leak out fluid, and it also will leak out cholesterol material. And due to this leaking problem, what happens is that it will cause swelling inside the retina, and thus it will affect the vision of the patients with diabetic eye disease. You may ask, what are the symptoms of diabetic eye disease? Unfortunately, most of the time, there is no symptom especially if the patient is at the early stage of the disease. If they have symptoms, what are the patients complaining about? They may be complaining about foggy vision. They may notice that they are seeing floaters or sometimes they may complain of flashes of light and sometimes they may complain of distortion of images. You may be wondering, what are the treatment options for diabetic eye disease? Well, that depends on the severity of the disease. First and foremost, as the patient, we must control well the systemic blood sugar. A good blood sugar control is very important in preventing the progress of this disease. And when the disease has become severe, what are the treatment options? We can offer the patients retinal laser, we can also give injection of medicine into the eye, we call intravitreal injection of anti vergef or steroids. And there is systemic pills that whereby we can provide patients to prevent the progression of the disease. If you have diabetes, you may be wondering, how do we able to prevent diabetic eye disease? Again, first and foremost, the most important thing is good blood sugar control. If the systemic control of the diabetes is well, then the likelihood of progression of this diabetic eye disease will be lessened. So therefore, cooperation with or treatment with endocrinologists is very important. And at the same time, how about the eye per se? If a patient with diabetes, the patient should have a regular eye checkup. If you or your family members have diabetes, please do advise them for a regular annual checkup. Because as I mentioned earlier, most of the time diabetic eye disease do not have any symptom. So thus, it depends on the regular eye checkup by eye specialist, then only we'll be able to pick up the signs of this disease. So in conclusion, diabetic eye disease actually is a blinding eye condition. Regular eye checkup is important. Good systemic blood sugar control is very important as well. Thank you.